wanted to talk about the potential risk of hazardous radon in your home in Truckee. Now this is my home in Truckee. I've been, lived in the area for about 50 years. I've heard of some people having higher radon levels that are unhealthy for you, but I didn't ever really think about it and what it meant to me. And I am a realtor with Sierra Sotheby's International Realty here in Truckee. And some people, some of my clients have had the optional radon test and um, their, rate, their level usually comes out below what is considered hazardous. And I thought, you know, just for the heck of it, I want to have a test in my house because I heard of somebody else that had an issue. So I went to the store and I got a, or actually I didn't go to the store, I went to Amazon and bought a couple of radon tests and put them in my home. This is one of them that my husband got at Mountain Hardware, but I got some other simple ones. I think they were $30 online. And then that included doing the test at home and shipping them in. Um, I had to pay for the shipping, which was like five bucks. And then about a week later, you get the results back. And all you have to do is open up the package, open up the Ziploc bag, um, put the little container of I don't know what's inside of it, but you just set it in, the, in a room in a particular spot. You let it sit for 48 to 72 hours. You seal it back up and then you send it off to the factory. And then the, the scientists will give you the radon levels in your home. Well, my husband thought I was nuts wanting a radon test because we built this home about eight years ago and it is a slab on grade home, meaning that there's the dirt um, there, then there is uh, six, inches of base rock and then we have three inches two and a half to three inches of closed cell foam and then on top of that we have six and a half inches of concrete so i thought or my husband said because he's been building homes in this area his whole life he thought i was nuts doing the radon test because he thought how could radon permeate through all of that foundation or you know the concrete and the closed cell foam and be a problem in the house. But he went along with me just to humor myself. And so we got the radon test back and lo and behold, I was shocked that they were higher than the recommended safe levels. The radon is measured in a reading called, I have to look at it here, it's called Pecurious um, per liter. So if you have four or less, your home is considered um, safe and you don't need to take any measurable action. Our level in one room was 9.4 and then I went back and did some other tests and in our bedroom it is 14.7. So I was like holy moly we have to deal with this. Now radon, I'm not a scientist but um, I've read that it comes from decomposing granite and other types of rocks and it comes naturally forming, it comes out of the ground, it's kind of, uh, it's uh, related to radiation and it is bad for your health. And so what will happen is it gives a certain percent, it's a health risk for giving non-smokers and smokers, but um, lung cancer. So at the level of radon that I have in my house, where you could have maybe 20, up to 25% of the people out of a thousand will potentially get lung cancer. So this freaked me out. And now that our house is a slab on grade house, I'm going, what do we do now? Because you're thinking, oh, maybe we could seal the floors, and you could seal a lot of the floors, but you can't seal everywhere. Have a look around my house. Here's the concrete floor. It's just everywhere. We have a passive solar house, so it's a has a concrete floor. And it's six and a half inches of concrete. And yeah, there are these little cracks in there. The radon's probably coming through there, I guess. Or maybe it's just permeating up through the concrete. I'm not really sure. But I'm wondering, you know, we're wondering now, how do we deal with this? Because we couldn't entirely seal the floor uh, because we're on the slab, because if we sealed the floor that you can see, there's still the part of the floor that's underneath the cabinets and in, in the walls. I mean, maybe that would help some, but what we're going to do is bore holes in the foundation on the outside and put a fan in there that is meant to suck air out from that space. And hopefully if we do a few of those in the different parts of the house, it will suck out that air and bring it up a vent up into the outdoors. So we are going to try that first. Uh, this is not a finished video yet. This is a work in progress just because we just found this out a couple of weeks ago and it is the end of February. So hopefully, 
within the next month because it's winter now we can't really get to too much of the edge of our foundation with this big storm coming so hopefully we'll be able to get to do this within the next month or four weeks or six weeks and then we'll retest and i will come back on and let you know what's going on but how this translate all translates also into my clients uh into my buyers in the real estate world is I used to only recommend getting a home inspection and a pest inspection and of course a, a seller or a buyer is uh, welcome to do any inspection they want but I'm going to highly highly recommend that they get a radon test now just because this could be a big health risk and you really should know what is going on before you purchase a house. If you had a home that had a foundation that had a crawl space underneath it, the way to remediate that is you put down layers of visqueen, basically a big layer of plastic underneath the house, and then you get fans and put them in your vents and so that that air is sucked out of your crawl space so then it won't permeate up through the ground into your house. But it is harder with the slab on grade and I'm hoping that this first attempt is going to solve the radi radon coming into our house because it's a kind of a scary thing you know you're here living this you know you're eating healthy breathing breathing fresh air and exercising doing everything you can to have good health and then suddenly in your newish home there's radon so it, it's kind of scary but i will update you on this process as as new um, results arise and so let me know if you have any other tips. I'd be happy to hear them. And if you have any interest in looking at real estate in Truckee and Tahoe, feel free to give me a call. My name is Chris Hinkle. I'm with CR Sethby's International Realty. And you can reach me at 530-412-2644. I would be happy to help you. And of course, recommend a radon test if you're buying a property.